Tony, he's Mike, and today, well, we're not doing Jaws, but we're doing the next best thing. We're doing 1978. Seven. Seven, 77's Orca. Between the two most dangerous animals on Earth. What in hell are you? Man and Orca. <laughs> Dino De Laurentiis presents Orca. Dino De Laurentiis saw Jaws and thought, hmm, that, but bigger. <laughs> so, I want some of that money. <laughs> I want that Jaws money. <laughs> he but, shouldn't be complaining. This was after King Kong. And, and you know what? Kong made money. Kong yeah. made bank. He could have made a bazillion orcas after that because no one was all like, no, 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 don't talk to Dino. He's broke. They were all like... <laughs> Call him. Call him. <laughs> so, <laughs> and they did well. Uh, this stars uh, Richard Harris as Nolan, uh, Charlotte Rampling as Rachel, who you'll remember her from Zardoz. Yes. There seems to be a correlation with violence, with fear. She Absolutely. was one of the, uh, what were they called, the Eternals? Uh, yeah, the yes, Eternals. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, so, plot of this one, really quick, is uh, Nolan's a fisherman. He's out. Actually, hunting for sharks initially. A great white, yeah. He's great white. great white. And then uh, some diver who wasn't affiliated with him at all was just out there diving. They're trying to find something. He gets in trouble, but he gets saved by the orca. Jesus, what did that? The orca kills a great white, and he's all impressed by this shit. And then he runs into um, Rachel. And she's a, what do they call it when they study She's fish? a cetacean biologist, so. What he said. And they start talking about, you know, killer whales and how smart they are and this and that. And he decides, well, shit, you know what? Let's try to capture one live and yeah. we'll sell it and make a shit ton of money. Yeah. Now, look, we're not going to harm it. The lucky lad will have a long, happy life in some aquarium. How much money do you think we're going to get for him? Enough. Um, I forgot the dollar figure, but it was like so many thousands of dollars per, per foot. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, I, I, yeah, I, think, so yeah. I think it's like ten thousand dollars per foot or something stupid like that. Something along those lines. And so, I mean, considering an orca gets 30, 35 feet, that's 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 bank. It's, yeah. so. so it's a good chunk of money. So anyway, so he goes out and he buys some pod of uh, orca, and he's going to try to uh, tranquilize one when he f***s up uh, his. The male orca. Yeah, he's and, trying to. They, yeah, he's trying to get spin. the male and winds up snagging the female. Yeah, so. and uh, hits the female, and the female gets injured. The female also runs into the the blades of the boat and just basically um, just gets f***ed up. Well, they try they try to pull the well, they do pull the female orca out, and then it spontaneously gives birth <laughs> and dumps <laughs> or or yeah. has a miscarriage. Oh, I yeah, miscarriage. Yeah, it'd be a miscarriage. And, so. and dumps the baby orca on the deck of. Boat. Which is disturbing <laughs> as shit, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> and so, uh, the, the female dies, and the male orca goes to get its revenge, and boy, does it get his f***ing revenge. Are you alright? I'm okay! I'm okay now! For, for me, this movie's a lot of fun. It's, I really enjoyed this movie quite a bit. I, I was going to say this. From a technical standpoint, 
It's beautifully shot. Yes. From a celebrity standpoint, Charlotte Ramping, Richard Harris, mm -hmm. Bo Derek in her first feature film. I forgot and, to and mention so, her, yeah. Yeah, so there's there's talent there. Yeah. And and the the problem with this film is the pacing. Because there are some mm -hmm. phenomenal sequences in it. The visuals are stunning yes. in this. The miniature work is amazing. And oh, this, yeah. And, and from a story standpoint, it, it works out, you know, really well. But the problem is, is that unlike Jaws, which this is very mm -hmm. obviously a, a homage or a straight up ripoff of Jaws, however you prefer to see it. Mm -hmm. But it lacks the subplot, so it loses a lot of the nuance that Jaws had. Yeah. Because with, with Jaws, you had Richard Dreyfuss, who's the biologist, mm -hmm. and you have the mayor, and you have the, the fisherman, and then you have Brody. Great white, Larry, a big one. And any shark expert in the world will tell you it's a killer, it's a man-eater. Look, the situation is that apparently a great white shark has staked a claim in the waters off Amity Island. And he's going to continue to feed here as long as there is food in the water. Brody's are our everyman. Yep. And we don't have that everyman character in Correct. this film. Yeah. Everybody knows everything about everything. And they're all experts in their particular mm -hmm. fields. And so you have a, a battle of wills. But you don't have anybody to like introduce these concepts to you. They don't have that person that they can deliver exposition to. To explain it to them. And explain it to yeah. the audience. And so it's, it's missing that one. Yeah. The ancient Romans called him Orca Orcinus, Latin for the bringer of death. His tapered form and muscular fin make the orca the fastest moving whale in all the oceans. Um, that being said, could this movie have been better? Absolutely. But is this movie bad? No. No, not, not at all. what I'm saying. What I am, however, saying is, is that it, Jaws is a very, like, packed movie and there's a mm -hmm. lot going on throughout all of that film and, and a, it weaves in and out and you never stay too long with any character to get bored with them mm -hmm. this movie suffers a little bit because richard harris gets tiresome after a little while it's too late for me yeah. charlotte rappling is amazing throughout um, She's okay. Her but character's okay. Her yeah. character's pretty much one note. But at least Nolan has a arc. Yes. You know, yes. He, he and he actually has sympathy. Like, he re really regrets what he did, like, like almost immediately. Yes. And He's like, holy shit, what have I done? I done f***ed up. It's okay. It's gone. It's gone. You flushed it over. That is actually, I think, one of the big saving graces yes. of this film. And yeah, it's the, other the strength thing, of the movie. The other thing is, is that unlike Jaws, which is just an eating machine. What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. The orca in this one has a legitimate and, and identifiable reason to want revenge. And about yeah. midway through the film, protagonist and antagonist flip, and you kind of find yourself feeling bad for the whale and kind of rooting for the whale to get his revenge, which, that's bizarre. <laughs> What's he telling you? Well, now, you're me, he said. I'm you, he said. You're my drunk driver. You're not, like, rooting for King Kong <laughs> to tear up New York. Well, maybe you are, but... <laughs> okay, Godzilla in Tokyo. But, um, uh, from, a, from a standpoint, this is kind of an example. If you ever wanted to know, you brought this up, so yep. I'm just going to say it. If you wanted to know what Jaws would have been like if the shark worked, this is it right yeah. here. Because the whale worked. There. Yes. <laughs> the whale works really well. Um, and the, you're, you're talking about the miniature scenes. That scene where he destroys... Uh, what's his name's cottage? Because it's like kind of, it's, it's like, it's, like hangs over the cliff, like yeah. off into the pier, and like these pylons holding up, and then the whale yeah. knocks those uh, supports yes. out, and the and the uh, house falls into the water. That is so well done. That is so yes. convincing looking. It it took me a minute. I like I was really thought they didn't build a whole house and then drop it in, and then you like go back and watch the scene a couple times, and you're like, you can kind of see the telltales yeah. that it's a miniature, but it's a super convincing miniature. And I will also say that Bo Derek sliding into the water and then getting her leg bitten off. Daddy! I found that amazingly satisfying. <laughs> yeah. As terrible as that sounds. And it's it's almost like 
it's almost like the orca was like, oh, wait, that's not the one I was shooting for. Wrong, wrong, wrong yeah. chick. Sorry. <laughs> so, because he lets her live and he didn't have to, but he, he bit her leg off. Um, but the funny thing, like, like, just about every death cracks me up. It's almost like every death is somebody dangling a fisherman off the side of the boat <laughs> like a fish. It's <laughs> 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 almost like Sea World, except for you die when you get, when you feed the fish. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, okay, at the, the first one, the first one that died, the old man. Uh, I, I laughed my ass off when that one had you. Go, I'm okay. I'm okay now. <laughs> <laughs> I, it was like totally straight out of Sea World. That was that was awesome. And then when Bo Derek's boyfriend buys the farm, I, I laughed at that mm -hmm. one too. Um, <laughs> I laughed at every death except for Nolan's. <laughs> um, now, the funny thing about this one is is again. It's following the Jaws formula a bit, mm. but there's the bit where, where he decides that he's going to go after the whale, and if that mm. whale wants his revenge, he can come and get him. And they get out into the ocean, and they're following the whale, and the whale keeps going further and further north the mm. entire time. Always the orca moved north, and always we followed. All Nolan said was we were hooked, the orca was reading us in, and that was it. Sure, why not? I mean, I mean, okay. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just suspending disbelief at this point. But mm. when they get to the ice, that whole sequence there is really impressive. It's I, there's moments that are like super questionable. Logically, it doesn't make any sense, but yeah. emotionally, it kind of does. I won't be needing this. It's got to be a fair fight on equal terms. Get me the harpoon. He has to come up for air. So when Richard Harris buys the farm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of satisfying in a, in a weird yes. ass way. Because Charlotte Rampling is watching all this unfold and, and you know, she like sees it and she doesn't like, she's not all, oh no, why did this have to happen? She's just kind of like, yeah, this, was kind of like the only way that this was yeah. going to end. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Some of the strengths of this movie for me are, are actually the, the characters because it's a very it's very character driven even yeah. though it's a creature feature. Yeah. Um, I liked uh, Richard's performance as Nolan. I liked uh, Charlotte Sharp's performance as Rachel. Mm -hmm. Not quite as much as Nolan, but then also the portrayal of the orca is very much a character. Yes. Because you actually have feelings, whether good or bad, whatever mm -hmm. you have it. But then also the town is a character as well. Yes. Because the, 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 the setting is so down and dour, and then the people in there are kind of down and dour once bad yeah. shit starts to happen. Yeah. You see an orca hanging around here any length of time drives our fish away. That's our livelihood. You understand. Before shit, you know, it's all happy and love it all. Just life is great, blah, blah, blah. We're just happy fishing community. And when shit starts going south, it goes south quick. And then they make it known that, hey, this is your problem. You caused this shit, Nolan. You get your fucking ass out there and you fix this fucking shit. Like, yeah. so, so much so that his boat takes priority. Yeah. And they fix his boat fast as fuck. They get him out there. The boat yard's giving you priority. They're hauling your bumpo up to fix it first thing tomorrow. Oh. Would you like a drink? First two boats are sunk. Now the fish have vanished from the fishing grounds. And it's all because of your whale. I was going to say, because the orca is it's in port and it's sinking boats and mm -hmm. it destroys the uh, the fuel yeah. tanks. Uh, uh, and, and, and again, the house mm -hmm. that's on the side of the cliff. Um, yeah. I have notes. Yeah. So it, destroyed, <laughs> er, it destroyed every boat but his boat specifically. Yes. It has
has a, uh, a Neo Morricone soundtrack. So if you remember him from all the Italian cinema that we have done, the soundtrack mm -hmm. is, is spectacularly good. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it Jaws good? No. no. But is it memorable and different and its own thing? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I actually, I gotta be honest, I was kind of into the soundtrack as this was, it was going here. This film had a budget of $6 million. It had a box office of $14 million, so it did solid numbers. But it didn't do King Kong money. No. King Kong did like a hundred million. Yeah, it was it was huge, but this was also widely panned by a lot of yeah. critics when it was initially released as just being a, a you know Jaws knockoff. And it's I mean yes, but I don't think it's deserved. Um, I think I think it's it's just it's different enough. It's because it's not a, it's not a wholesale ripoff. It's I was gonna say it's kind of deserved, but I will say this: if they had spent three more months rewriting the script because there's there's meat here there no, is yeah. a there is a, a t story that should be told and can could be told really inventively and really interestingly and, and rather than it being a, a bit of a jaws clone it could have been an evolution to something that was different smarter you know a little bit more character driven mm -hmm. because unlike bruce the shark in jaws which is just an eating machine you could give the orca a bit more yeah. personality and intelligence and, and, you know, make that revenge a bit more satisfying. And that, the intro to this film, and when they go out and they, they hunt down and they get the female, all that, that first 20, 25 minutes of it, rock solid. Yes. It's, it's yes. really good. Charlotte Rampling's character, the way she's introduced, and, and you know, like, like, why is she there? They never actually explain that, but she just shows up and... He began to corner me after class at odd hours, asking about the orcas and occasionally about me. I was surprised at his ignorance of the animals. And she's like trying to dissuade Richard Harris to, you know, don't do that. They're intelligent, warm-blooded creatures like you and me. Mm -hmm. You know what? You, that could have been handled a little bit more organically. It's a little heavy. Is there any way that I can make you give up? Well, there's one you might try. The other thing is, is that it would have been nice to actually get to meet some of the folks in the community, the fishing yeah. community. We get to meet the, the one Inuit who is, you know, there, and, and that's really about it. Please, tell your captain I am not his enemy. I would say it was one of the crew. I could help him. There's like the, the you know Bo Derek, Bo Derek's boyfriend, or mm -hmm. and then the old man that's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's it's, it's mostly Nolan, um, Rachel, and uh, whoever the the uh, uh, native native American I think his guy name is, is Omlock, but I'm not positive yeah. on that. So yeah, those, he'll, those, he'll throw it right here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those those are most of your characters. Um, so yeah, so going back, like if if Bruce worked. Mm. Would this be the superior movie? Because part, you know, because part of the charm of Jaws is you don't get to see the shark all that much. It adds that extra layer of suspense and stuff like that. And when you do see the shark in Jaws, when when it's brief, it's very effective. Yes. But but the times you get to see a lot of it, like when it's like hanging up on the back of the boat, like trying to chop yeah, away, yeah. it's hokey as. <laughs> when it's uh. <laughs> You know, munching down on uh, Robert Shaw. Yeah. It, it, it looks hokey as uh, Yeah. It, and, but you see a million shots of the orc. I mean, there's like a oh, yeah. ton of yeah. shots. Yeah, and, and, and they look great. Miniature, and then there's an animatronic, and then there's a full-sized fake orca that they did, and then there's real orca footage yeah. that was shot specifically for this film. So, so yeah, the visuals, like I said, the visuals hold up. The mm -hmm. visuals are stunning on this one, but I'm going to say that Jaws would still be... If Jaws didn't exist, this would be a more memorable film. The thing Absolutely. about this, the reason why Jaws is the superior film is simply because the, the depth of the characters that you're getting and the number of characters that you're getting because mm -hmm. you, you have the, the lady whose little boy got eaten mm -hmm. by the shark and then, like... It's a subplot. She like walks up to Chief Brody and slaps him in the face. Chief Brody? Yes? And he feels guilt over what happened to her kid yeah. because he didn't do something to prevent it. All that is, is yeah. absolutely integral yeah. to yeah. the plot it's, of it's, it's a better story overall. Yes. It's, it's a yes. better script. It's a better director. It's better actors. It's just, it's, overall it is just absolutely yeah. better. Yeah. 
Could this movie have been better? Absolutely. Absolutely. And this is a movie, this is ripe for a remake. This is a movie that you could most definitely take the bones of this, really flesh out these characters, add some depth to the town, add some extra side characters, and you could make something really interesting, kind of on par with Peter Jackson's remake of King Kong, because that's what he did. He expanded all those characters from that 90-minute little film from the 1930s. He gave it some depth and some breath, yeah. and he, he actually let the characters be characters. Yeah. And this movie would benefit greatly from yeah. that, and I, I kind of hoping somebody sees this and goes, yeah. Not a bad idea. Let's give that one yeah. a spin. <laughs> so while this while this is not as good as Jaws, I still say it's better than Jaws 2. Oh. It's better than Jaws 3. And it's absolutely better than Jaws 4. I don't know what the hell they're trying to do with Jaws 4. That thing doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Smire, you son of a bitch! It, <laughs> it's absolutely a superior film to two, two, three, and four. Jaws the Revenge. Yeah. <laughs> now, but, we'll say this. Subjectively, Jaws 3 is more fun to watch. I, I mean, just because it's 3D, it's hokey as f***, and it's just, it's just silly. Yeah, yeah. And, and see, there's proof right there that you can have all the talent in the world in front of the camera, but if mm. you have the wrong script and the wrong director, it doesn't matter, because yeah. that's got Dennis Quaid, and that's got Louis Gossett Jr., and, like... Uh, you, early Leah Thompson? You could throw a rock, and you'll hit somebody that was, like, huge or famous after that movie came out, but... Jaws 3 is hokey dumb fun. <laughs> there's, there's the, there it is right there in a nutshell. If you want a great involving film, throw in Jaws. If you want something that you can turn on and be entertained, but it's not going to like break your brain or anything, throw in Orca. And if you want hokey dumb fun that you can have a beer and giggle at, Jaws 3 it is, my man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this. If you want like just a, just a night of like fun fish films, do this, do Jaws 3. <laughs> Do Piranha or Piranha 2 or any one of those Piranha movies because they're, they're a ton of fun. <laughs> Cruel Jaws. <laughs> Cruel Jaws is fun, but not the same level as like this and Jaws 3. I'm going to say The Last Shark as well, which we're going to do a review on that one at some point in the future. But but I'm a big fan of the creature feature dumbass shark movies yeah. and all the Jaws knockoffs. So. so if I hadn't made it clear, this is a recommend for me. It's absolutely a recommend for me, but with the caveat of don't expect Jaws. It ain't that. No. But, but it's... It's a solid watch. Yeah, so. Absolutely. That's what I got. Anything else? Nope. No. We will catch you next time.